Welcome back to day two of Vlogmas. It's freezing here today. Let me know what the weather's like, where you are. I think I'll never get rid of that Britishness of just wanting to talk about the weather all the time. It's really, really cold here. Oh, I've been out for a long walk with Hope this morning because today is Saturday. And Saturday is quite routine for me in that I always go to ballet on a Saturday and then I tend to have a wander around the Marais which is one of my favorite areas in Paris I absolutely love it I think you will love it so that's the that's the plan today there's a really lovely shop there called Mercy which I love going to I think you'll really like it's just like a, a visual feast for the senses I think that you'll love it and their Christmas display is up now I haven't seen it yet, but I saw on Instagram that they've put it up. So I thought we'd go and have a little little wander around there and maybe have a coffee. They've got a lovely bookshop cafe there that's really, really nice. So that's the plan for, for Saturday. I've written about ballet recently. I wrote about it on Substack and I'm really, I'll leave a link to that piece if you want to go and read it. The comments from people were really, really interesting. It was about finding what feeds your soul and hanging onto it and how what we love, our passions in life, often things that we loved as children can act as a red thread throughout our lives if we hang on to them. But the norm is that we're encouraged to have hobbies when we're kids, we're encouraged to try everything until we find something that we like. And then when we turn into adults, we're expected to get a proper job, find someone to settle down with, have kids and all that sort of stuff is, it's expected to just fall away because, you know, we don't have, we don't have time for it anymore. But that is not the kind of life that I believe in. Yeah. And it was like a, a love letter to, to ballet for me, which is really important to me and has been throughout my whole life, but not in, not from a dancing point of view. Like I started that more recently and oh, I absolutely, I absolutely love it. I think I've done it for like three, maybe four years now. It's just for fun. It's just for exercise. I'm not a good ballet dancer by any stretch. It's so funny here in Paris because people take it very seriously, which I love. Like I love how they just let themselves love something so freely. And it encourages me to, to want to do the same. Um, and all the classes in French, and I don't speak fluent French, but I know, you know, I know, I know the ballet moves and they're in French. So I get by and it's fun and we laugh. Um, I'm really excited to, to show you the studio in a bit. But let me know if you have hobbies, things, passions that, that you love that maybe you've neglected over the years, or maybe you've rekindled a love with or things that you'd like to to start again. Um, ballet is is mine. It's something that's super, super important to me. I, yeah, I just, I absolutely love it. I can't wait to, uh, to show you. I'm on day two of the tea advent calendar. Last night's wasn't so good. This, today's is a Ruibus tea, it's called. Let's give it a little taste test. Oh, that's nice. That one's nice. Okay, that's good. Day two was better than day one. Very, very nice. So I'm just gonna have this and then we will head out. Capsule wardrobe outfit of the day has to be quite versatile, actually, because I'm combining a workout with an afternoon in central Paris. So I'm wearing my leggings. These 
I know they're divisive. They are the Lululemon Align leggings. Personally, I absolutely love them. I own one pair and I wear them. I wear them to death. Uh, I've got the Stan Smith trainers on and it's really, really cold today, as I said. So I'm going to wear this cardigan over the top underneath that i have i've shown you this before it's a it's a sports bra but it's like it fits like a like a top it's from oi show i wear it underneath regular clothes and i always wear it to to work out in and specifically for ballet and then i'm gonna put my gray wool coat over the top and pink scarf because it's cold and I'm going to take my canvas tote with me so I can fit everything in. say that ballet class is my favorite part of the week like I feel most myself straight after and this is what I talked about in the in the piece that I wrote that I will leave a link to for you I yeah if like I wanted to try and film a little bit more of myself today but <laughs> I got a little bit I got a little bit shy so it didn't happen but it was it was my favorite teacher which was great and during like the bit when we do the, the jumps and stuff, like she lifted me, which was incredible. I went really, really high. I enjoyed it so, so much. But yeah, like if there is something that you've wanted to try or maybe that you used to do that you really love, or maybe you feel like the time's passed, I don't know, like I, I can't encourage you enough to do it because it, I really think it brings us home to ourselves, back to, to who we are like at our at our core and I if that's not worth making time for then I don't know what is oh my gosh the light's getting so pretty I'm gonna go and have a wander around the mare They're so cool. Who wants a golden ticket?
pasta for dinner and <laughs> full disclosure that afternoon scene is not was not as slow and relaxing as I'm gonna make it look when <laughs> when I edit it oh it was busy guys it was busy it was too busy like my anxiety started really piping up um to the point where my like go home go home <laughs> radar started going off does anyone else have that and it reminded like it hasn't because I that's my usual Saturday routine and it has not been that busy but it's you know it's that cold hard reminder that oh it's Christmas it's Christmas and everyone starts going a little bit a little bit nuts and yeah it was uh it was quite a lot so I'm very happy to be home <laughs> reminded me why I love home so much why it has to be so calm and a you know a real a real sanctuary for me let me know if you're the same I think most of us are introverts so I'm guessing yes it's a very nice cozy evening on the cards just like yeah de-stressing from all that um that chaos, <laughs> that chaos I did buy some fairy lights from Mercy which I've put in the kitchen. I'm really, I'm really pleased with. I think they look super, super cozy. They're giving that, um, I don't know, like cozy Scandinavian kind of vibes. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Thank you so much for watching as always. Um, tomorrow's gonna be, a, I need a, like I need a chill day tomorrow after, <laughs> after the chaos of this afternoon. I can't believe how busy it was. I just, I just can't. I'm too, um, I'm too sensitive in terms of sensory for uh, for stuff like that. Again, let me know. Let me know if you're the same because I, I really, really struggle with it. Like I need, I need calm. I need peace. It's, it's very, very important. So that's what, that's what tonight is going to be all about. And then I'm going to edit. I'm going to edit this vlog. Get it ready for you tomorrow. And I will see you tomorrow.